So many of you guys know, last week, we got a visit from good old CPS. The woman stated she was here for a report made of neglect and one of our children was seen laying on a gun. I knew exactly what she was talking about because here's the gun. It was a post that I made of her daughter crawling for one of the first times. This was next to her. It's plastic, got an orange tip. It's oversized. It don't even really look real. She took a picture of it. She said, all this is probably just gonna blow over. She said that we were very proactive parents and she saw no safety concerns and we would get a call in the morning from the actual social worker. Well, we did get a call the next day and the lady said that she needs to do further investigation. She wanted medical reports. She asked about homeschooling. She was asking all sorts of questions, but I told her, you ain't getting nothing else. I provided you everything that you need. This is about a gun. I showed it to you. Investigation's over. So we did our own investigating and... We did our own investigation and come to find out that this lady, she has the exact opposite beliefs. Everything that you can imagine, Christianity, conservatism, women's rights, abortion, transgender, everything that we stand for, she is on the exact opposite spectrum. And in fact, come to find out, she really does not like white people. But good for us. I'm a rapper and I make music and CPS inspired me to write a song exposing their evil deeds and giving all the people that have had problems with this corrupt organization, some cases being there, having their kids taken away, we're giving them a voice. The song is dropping this Friday and it's absolutely fire, man. Be ready. Never thought it would happen to me, get a knock on the door from CPS. It's funny cause I watch my kids like a hawk and they don't ever leave the nest. Hmm.